Hi, my name is Reina. I'm, I've been coming to The Way since 2019. I came on a Friday to the Women's Elevate table. At the time, it was um, 10 a.m. and I remember that morning, I was just confused. I was going through a lot in my life where I needed wise counsel, but I didn't know where to go, and I heard of this women's event. And I showed up, and I was encouraged. I immediately joined at the time of P, it was called P12. And um, I was discipled, but even in that time, I was trying, but I wasn't fully surrendering areas of my life that I didn't know how to let go of. Even with my leaders trying, I just wasn't receiving. So then 2020 happened and I stepped away. I went back to what the world had to offer. And at the time it was a band-aid of luxuries, of travel, of the things that the world says that a girl needs. And it looked pretty, it looked desirable, but it wasn't what God wanted for me. So I said, Lord, I don't want to do it my way anymore. I want what you have for me. And that meant truly stepping away and not turning back. I came back 2022 and I heard of this challenge. It was a 30-day growth challenge. And I said, I'm going to take this challenge. I'm committing to a water fast. I'm committing to joining a DG. I'm committing to taking Holy Warriors. I'm committing to changing my life around and truly seeking His kingdom first and allowing Him to put His own desires in my heart is what truly transforms me. And it wasn't until I surrendered to being a disciple. The fruits that have came from being obedient and just walking this walk for Christ has been seeing my own family come to know Christ, to start their own discipleship journey through starting Holy Warriors class on their own, being baptized, seeing my own father, who my mother has prayed for 45 years, they've been married, and seeing them join in agreement in service and just starting Holy Warriors in Spanish has been a blessing. And all of that wouldn't have happened had I not let go of the life that I thought I needed. And the Word of God says you cling to your own life, you lose it, but you lose your life for Christ and you gain it. And I thank God because while you are standing in the gap, your family, He is fighting for your family. He is fighting for those that are, you're believing to be saved.